friends, sorry about the shakiness, but these are things that I'm very proud of. On the left, as you look at it, it's an article written by Irv Moss about me. Then you see a plaque when I was inducted into the Summit County Sports Hall of Fame in 1986. To the right of that is a plaque when I was with the Pittsburgh Steelers. To the right of that is myself in my number 21 Pittsburgh Steelers uniform. And to the right of that is the Washington Redskins. Also to the right of that is a picture of the 1962 Denver Broncos when we changed uniforms. Now I want to show you in order the teams that I played for, but I'm going to start with the second team. The Oakland Raiders, the Miami Dolphins, the Washington Redskins, the Pittsburgh Steelers. The first Denver Bronco uniform, yes, was golden brown, and it says Gene Mingo. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today, is what have you done now, Eugene? Being I have no one to operate my camera, I have a few questions that was asked of me by sports fans. The first one says, why did you want to share your story in a book? Well, actually, I have been trying for years to get someone to write my story because all I've heard is that, Gene, your story needs to be told. So with the help of my wife, we sat down over the years and tried to go through as many things as we could remember and then she put it on my shoulders. Luckily enough I found Glenn and Carol Strickland, good friends of mine who chose to help me write the book. They did write and the book is out now and uh, I just wanted fans to get to know me better that I'm not a bad guy. Once you get to know me I think you'll like me. The second question is what have you learned from all the obstacles you faced in football? You know, I really didn't recognize the obstacles until after I had a occurrence in Oakland, Cal Oakland, California in 1964 where the Denver Broncos felt that what I had done was detrimental to the team and I was shipped off to the Oakland Raiders where I spent a year and a half playing for them. The Miami Dolphins came into existence in 1966 and uh, they drafted me. I went to play for them and uh, it's so uh, amazing that each team that I played for after leaving the Denver Broncos I only stayed there a year and a half and uh, the same thing with the Miami Dolphins. I was with them for a year and a half. The Washington Redskins, a half a season. And then I spent two years with the Pittsburgh Steelers. The next question is, what is the message I want my readers to read about me? No matter what anyone tells you, what you read if you decide to purchase the book is the truth, the God truth, and the only truth. I felt that what I had gone through from a childhood up until adulthood, my playing pro football, should be shared with a lot of young men out there that would help them change their behavior and not go through what I had to go through. One thing I wanted the young black men to realize that when you make a mistake, it's very seldom forgiven. Uh, I was asked why aren't there any more black field goal kickers in the NFL? Like I said, I was the first black field goal kicker that started in 1960. I set many records that year. That's in my book. Uh, it's been over 50 years now, and you have not seen another black field goal kicker on any NFL team that I know of. Uh, I was very proud to be number one. And I will say this with pride, I am also very happy and very proud of our president, Barack Obama, being the
the first black president, if I were in front of him, I would tell him that we have two things in common, or one thing in common. He was the first black quarterback, and I was the first, did I say quarterback? <laughs> the first president, black uh, president, and I was, am, still the first black field goal kicker in the NFL. The next question, what's the importance of the title? What have you done now, Eugene? Well, I did get a review about my book from a gentleman saying that I was crying and spilled milk, that I wanted to be patted on the back and everything. That is so untrue. The reason I wanted my book written, What Have You Done Now, Eugene? I look back over the years and uh, I recognize that I was a follower. I was not a leader at that time. And a lot of the little childish mistakes I made, I got into trouble. And believe me, they were not a lot. It was three or four. But my mistakes came when I became a pro football player. Like I said, in 1964, I did something that was said to be detrimental to the team. And uh, in 1986, which is in the book also, I would like for you to read it. I'm not going to tell you what happened. But anyway, it changed my life. The last question, what's next for Gene Mingo? Uh, what's next for me is that I will continue to look for effect, be forgiven for whatever things I have caused or done. I would like to get together with all my family, my two boys and two daughters, their husbands and wives, my 13 grandchildren and my three great-grandchildren and take them on a cruise. But I would like for you to get to know me by reading the book. I hope that you enjoy it when you buy it. And I hope that I didn't make too many mistakes in trying to share my life with you. I'm going to leave you now. God bless.